Hi Standard 5, are you ready for your next art lesson? Okay, for today's art lesson, you need to be able to produce a picture of um, a scenery during a night time near the, um, the ocean or at a place where there is a lighthouse at that area and then you also need to include the textures of the sky the stars and also the moon as well as the textures of the ocean and the um, things near that area okay so please prepare your crayon your watercolors your brushes and also your drawing sketchbook okay if you don't have your sketchbook with you that's okay you can use your um, a4 papers as well okay right so let's start if you're not confident to draw um, straight away by using your crayon you can start with your um, pencils and rubber first or else you can just start straight away with your crayon okay so as I have taught you before this or last time you need to start by drawing or sketching the things that you see first or in front of you okay the first thing that you see and after that you can sketch or draw the things that you see behind the first thing okay right so we will do it in a portrait form like this okay okay let's start with drawing the the lighthouse first I will start by using my crayon okay so this is this is a house next to the light a house there is a house a small house okay and you can draw the roof first and then draw the body of the house okay right okay Right. Next, you can draw the lighthouse by using any color that you want. But I think I'm going to use red color. Okay. Draw your lighthouse. You can start with the shape of the cylinder first. A cylinder lighthouse. This is the top of the lighthouse. As it goes down, it becomes bigger and bigger. Okay, and then like this okay and on top here is the watch tower okay the tower where people can go up here and then watch um, the sea or they can see um, they can watch or observe the safety of the sailors and people or fishermen okay and what color should I use? Maybe I would be using um, still. Well, let's use the red color. Oops. Okay. Alright. So this is the top of the tower. Then you can draw something like this. Okay. Alright. And then. There is an antenna on top there. Okay. After that, take your yellow color. You can put some. Um, you can draw the yellow over here. Color this part to show that there are lights coming out from here. And also, you can do something like this. Okay. Something like this. Uh, okay. Like this. Okay. And then shade it with the same yellow color. Okay. So that's the light. Now let's go back to your tower. Give it a little curve to show the shape of the tower. Okay. And then shade it with the red color alternately red white red white 
Oke okay. okay, what else um, You can give more details to this house later on Okay, let's move back to the house At this house, maybe we want to put some stones or um, The roof of the house Okay, give it some texture And then also A door and maybe the window from the window maybe you want to put some lights over here then you can use the same yellow that you used just now and you shade it with yellow color okay next um, you can paint this one by using your watercolor or you also can shade it by using um, crayon that is up to you later okay now let's move to the the shore okay okay we're going to draw the shore over here this is the edge of the shore okay so maybe you can do something like this okay this is where the land is and then this is where the water is at okay so you can put some texture over here up to you what type of textures do you want you can use your rubbing technique or any technique that you think is suitable or you can put some um, rocks yeah Yeah, and then next one let's go to your C the C color um, you can do it in light blue or dark blue but because this is a nighttime scene you have to put the sky in dark blue so we're going to do this the C in light blue instead of dark blue you separate them by giving them one line like this okay so over here will be the sea later and on top here is the the sky okay so for the sky give it some textures of the star just give some random dots over here you can use white color or yellow color or orange color okay and maybe over here you want to put the moon give it a white moon color here and then you can shade it with the same white color this one and take your yellow give some random dots to show the star okay right for your um, sea we want to give textures to the ocean so you can give some wave lines wavy line okay and that's it okay because the moon is over this side just now there will be some lights coming from the moon and there should be some shadows over here so I would put this side a little dark than the rest of the area okay so now for the sky for the sky i'm going to use dark blue and you, see, you can see i used dabbing technique for the sea just now to give a ripple or water effect okay just dab your brush on your sketch paper 
Okay, now let's move to the sky. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is that um, I'm trying to use less water, uh, water color. So I just dip my watercolor in water so that it become um, a little watery to give the um, this effect and then you just do the dabbing technique okay okay so over here we need to create a visible line between the ocean and the sky so you take your blue color just now and then just draw a light line between those two so that people will know where is the end of the sky and then where is the end of the sea okay right something like that and then you can dab it so that the color will look the same with the sky Okay, same goes to this side. Alright, there you go. Okay. Right now you can try with uh, your own artwork. See you next week. Bye.